A full weekend of NWSL matches ahead. Split between Saturday and Sunday. A doubleheader on Saturday starts with Houston Dash traveling to Providence Park to take on Portland Thorns. And four matches on Sunday, closing out with Orlando Pride hosting the Chicago Red Stars. Joining me to talk about all of these matches, two former U.S. internationals, Allie Wagner and Lori Lindsay. I'm Lisa Roman, co-host of Attacking Third Podcast, filling in for the lovely Poppy Miller. A handful of these teams played midweek matches with such a quick turnaround. Allie, which game are you focusing on? Yeah, you know, I got to go save the best for last, right? OL Reign going against Washington Spirit. They're hosting, in fact. And, and look, this is a, a matchup that I think very quickly could become an NWSL rivalry, a coast-to-coast -coast rivalry, one where we'd welcome with open arms. These sides have played each other three times. This will be the third time in the past three weeks. Washington Spirit has got the better of OL Reign in both the previous matches, first in the regular season, and then that semifinal and Challenge Cup. But I think this is an OL Reign side that is desperate to get a result. They are yet to pick up three points in the regular season play. And they know they need this game, I think, more than Washington Spirit does. They have the advantage. They're hosting. Washington Spirit, as you said, Lisa, is coming off a midweek match. So they've played three games. This will be their third game in eight days. OL Reign, well-rested. They've had eight days off between th their last match and now this match. So I think O.L. Reign has to look to this game and take it to Washington Spirit, which is going to be, I think, a bit of a predicament. As we saw in that semifinal match, O.L. Reign lined up a bit differently in their pressure structure. They sat back off of them. They didn't allow Rodman to get into 1v1 areas. I think they're going to have to do the same thing again. But what I've been concerned with with this O.L. Reign side is that their defense has not been good. I pick both these teams as front runners to be NWSL challenge win or NWSL winners by the end of the season. And right now, O.L. Reign's defense has let them down. They've conceded three goals in three matches. And in fact, they are in the bottom four when you consider expected goals against. Those are stats I did not anticipate coming in. So they do have to get the defensive side of things right against this depleted, exhausted, yet incredibly explosive Washington spirit side if they are going to pick up their three points. Yeah, you're getting the, um, the match of the weekend for sure. But my eyes are all over the Angel City, Kansas City game. Um, you know, it's early on in the season, but I really do feel like this is a must-win game for both teams. Kansas City, a Challenge Cup semifinalist, but in the first three games of the regular season, they've lost two, only tied one. They're sitting on one point. And this is a team that still hasn't put a ton uh, or 90 minutes, to, a complete 90 minutes together. You have Elise Bennett, you have Kristen Hamilton up top but they're still giving away some easy goals in the late get minutes of the game. So they have to go on the road and perform as if it is a home game. And then for Angel City, sitting in third place of this regular season, listen, I didn't think they would be in this position. I don't think anybody thought they would be in this position. <laughs> a huge win against Washington away from home last weekend. But this is a team that doesn't have a ton of depth. So when you're playing at home and in front of the crowds that they have been putting together at their uh, Bank of California, you have got to perform and you've got to collect points early on in this season. I'm watching San Diego Wave FC against North Carolina Courage. It's the first time these teams are facing each other. North Carolina, they started the year hot, winning the Challenge Cup, but since then, they haven't won a game. They've been plagued with COVID protocol. Nearly half of their starters out for their last two regular season games. Because of that, head coach Sean Nahas having to go to his bench and use a lot of player rotation. Meanwhile, San Diego Wave FC coming off their first loss of the regular season and the first time they They've been shut out. San Diego is still at the top of the standings. It's a battle that's going to come down between these two sides. Midfield for North Carolina, it's Dabinia leading that box. And for San Diego Wave FC, it's Korniak in the midfield. But this is going to be a huge battle. Across the NWSL and all of these teams, so many talented players. Allie, for you, who is your player to watch this weekend? Yeah, it's got to be Rose Lavelle. You know, I think if we're looking to this OL Reign team to pick up a result, you've got to start going to your leaders on the squad. And one of them is Rose Lavelle. This has been a top player in the world. This is a player that has scored in World Cup finals. And she has to show up. Remember, in their match in the regular season, she did not pick, score her penalty. Um, she did have a goal, but she didn't put away her penalty. So I think she's going to be hungry to go and turn things around against this Washington Spirit team. 
she's been good. I mean, she's played in all three matches every minute, only one of three players across the league to do so. But I think when you think about um, this OL Reign side at their best, it's in transition, that defense to offensive transition. And she is the one that leads that. She's the one that breaks the lines on the dribble. She carries the ball so incredibly well that puts the opposition under a lot of pressure, that back line in particular. And Washington Spirit is a team that will give you that space to do it. So I think if there is a game that Rose Lavelle can have a coming to moment this season, it is this one against the Spirit. They're going to be fatigued. They will give you space. They will turn the ball over deep. And those are bread and butter for Rose Lavelle. Yeah, and then my player is Kristen Press for Angel City. When you're playing at home, you've got to look to your big players exactly like a Rose Lavelle, and you have to have those players step up. And Kristen Press, two goals in the Challenge Cup, even though those weren't the best performances for Angel City, but game winner last weekend away from home against the Washington Spirit. Huge goal from them for her. And this is a player that likes to get isolated. She can play as a number nine, but I feel like with um, – Charlie back in the starting lineup. She'll find herself out wide. And with a Kansas City team that's been majority of the time playing in a three back, I'll be curious to see if they make any adjustments. Otherwise, that is an opportunity for Kristen Press to get isolated out wide, take players on. There's been a lot of talk about her ability to use defenders to screen, to be able to score goals like we saw against Washington Spirit last weekend. She's going to need to continue that trend because this is, again, a team that needs to collect points early on this season to continue to stay high up in the rankings and getting those points at home. San Diego forward Alex Morgan is someone who needs to step up this weekend for the Wave. She's a player that came off the bench in San Diego's midweek match. In those 45 minutes, she changed the game. She created so many open spaces in the attacking front line for San Diego. Now looking at North Carolina, it's that outside space in behind the Courage's outside backs, whether it's Carson Pickett, Merritt Mathias, Jaylene Daniels. That's the space that Morgan needs to occupy and look to find the ball there for San Diego to be successful. Whether it's Rose Lavelle, Kristen Press, or Alex Morgan, a number of players across the league to keep an eye on. Allie Laurie, thank you so much for breaking it all down. For more on the NWSL, you can listen to the Attacking Third podcast. Sandra Herrera and I give previews, recaps, analysis, and interviews, and so much more. Download, follow, and subscribe to Attacking Third.